Oh, good to see you, Kiryu. Are you set? I'd like to take you somewhere. I assume you're ready to go? Hmm. I'm prepared. Great. Then let's get going. When was the last time you saw Sayama, anyway? When I moved to Okinawa, so that'd be... a little over 15 years now. We first met in 2006. To think it's been 17 years. Kaoru Sayama, a former detective in the Osaka police, and the ace of Division 4, the Anti-Yakuza Task Force. We partnered together for a certain incident regarding the Tojo clan. And then... As the bomb kept ticking down, I decided to spend the last moments of my life with this incredible woman. Damn, 15 years? I haven't seen her for a while either, but nowhere near as long as that. Earlier, she said she's here on business. Asked me if I wanted to catch up and all. I'm something of a big shot at work, you know. What's with the big talk? <laughs> Nobody else would listen to me, Bragg. Well, it might have been 15 years, but Siam is as sharp as ever. There's a chance she'll spot you at a distance, so we better play it safe. I don't know. There is also a chance she's forgotten all about me. You're hopeless. Here, take these. Wireless earphones and mic. We usually use them during investigations, but I'll loan these to you. That way, you can listen in on the conversation, and I'll be able to hear what you have to say, too. Come on, let's get moving. She hasn't changed one bit. You look busy, as usual. How long are you here for? <laughs> I'll be leaving the day after tomorrow. How's Tommy Osan doing? She's great. Mama's been manning the bar every night. I think she's doing even better than me. Glad to hear it. Best you spend time with family while you can. That's certainly true. But still, it's been a long time. About six, seven years or so, right? The last time we spoke was when you called me about Kazuma's passing, I believe. Right. Sorry for dropping that bombshell back then. It's fine. I'm sure I would have heard about it sooner or later. After all, he was quite infamous among the police. <laughs> no kidding. His name always popped up whenever something big happened. You got any guys that buy into the whole Kazuma Kiryu hidden mastermind conspiracy? We do, yes. Kazuma Kiryu is actually still alive. He's been pulling the strings behind society as we speak. Hmm. Those rumors, right? <laughs> what kind of officer would say that? It's complete nonsense. Well, guess that means his legacy was that impactful. Can't blame folks for making him into some urban legend, especially if they never knew him. I suppose so. <sighs> But to think he's gone, even now, I still can't fathom it. <sighs> How can someone as tough as him just die? How? When I've seen him cheat death time after time. Unbelievable, right? He was one stubborn son of a gun. He really was. Still married to the job? Pretty much. Heard you transferred to the juvenile division. That was news to me. Shocking, right? Some career path. But you requested to transfer, right? There a reason for that? There is, actually. It's all because of the dissolution. The Great Dissolution? Yeah. Remember how Daigo Dojima and other big names started a security company after all that went down? It was a haven for former Yakuza. Right. I figured if Kazuma were still alive, 
he would have lent them a hand. That man is practically the icon of the old Yakuza and all. I'm sure he would have taken it upon himself to clean up after them, too. Hmm. And if they were in charge of the cleanup, then as a cop, I could work on prevention. At least that's what I thought. In other words, you're trying to prevent kids from becoming petty criminals or joining the Yakuza. Hence the transfer. Right you are. It's tougher than I thought, but it's rewarding work. And that way you could feel connected to Kiryu. <laughs> That's one way to put it. I wanted to sound cool, that is. But yeah, that's why I'm bent on pursuing my new dreams. And that's why I want to keep doing what I can, but... Maybe a part of me is still waiting for him. Hmm. <sighs> Aren't I just so faithful? <sighs> Sayama, look, the truth is... Don't, Dante-san. Uh, it's fine. <sighs> uh, something wrong? Uh, no, you're just... You're just way too good for him. Thanks for that, Date-san. Seems I was a luckier man than I thought. Seriously? You're telling me. You sure you don't want to tell her anything? I'm sure. As long as she's got a dream to chase, she's better off without me around. That's the hardest pill to swallow. But you know what, Kiryu? What? You should live how you want to. If there's a woman you love, you hold on to her. Never let go. I'm getting jealous just looking at you. <laughs> I guess you'd know best, considering you've gone through a divorce before. What? Low blow, man. Sorry. It was just a joke. Thanks, Date-san. <laughs> a real heartbreaker, aren't you? But I meant it. Yeah, every word. Just do what you want to do. You've got tons of folks on your side, supporting you. And don't you forget that. I won't. Bring it on. This will be tough. Oh, God. 
Much better. You're going to regret this. with this. Better hustle now. Let's do it. All good. Follow my lead. We only need one Naturally. shot. Right. We have a winner. Whew. We should relish this moment. Oh, 
I think I see something. Let's wreck shit up. Should I open it? Nice. I can't breathe. Hey, what's the matter? Are you all right? I can't breathe. Got it. Just hold on. Don't move. No. Stop. Don't call an ambulance. I can't afford it. This isn't the time for that. You could die. Even if I survive this. I'd just be assumed dead if those thieving debt collectors come after me. Damn it. Then what should I do? If he's refusing an ambulance, how can I help him? Should I look for a hospital nearby? But what are the chances of finding a hospital in the heart of Kamurocho? Hmm? Wait a minute. Aren't we right near... Right. Emoto Medical Clinic. Home to Kamuroto's best physician. Who treat this guy for free. It's been ages since we first met. Wouldn't matter if all of society turned its back on you. Doc Emoto doesn't refuse anyone in need. I respect the man. Good to know he's still kicking. Hang in there, alright? I'm gonna get you to a doctor. Doc, sorry to barge in. It's an emergency. Uh, huh? Where is Dr. Emoto? Uh, I'm Dr. Emoto, but if you're looking for my father, he's out currently. I'm sure he'll be back soon. Then you must be. But didn't you just say there's an emergency? Well, let's not waste time chatting. What's the situation? Can the patient move on his own? A homeless man collapsed. He's having some sort of attack. He's on the street right now and won't take an ambulance. Understood. This kind of thing is fairly typical. My apologies, but I'll need your help carrying him in. Is he all right now? <sighs> yes, he's fine. He's actually one of my father's patients. This tends to happen from time to time. Though, this time around, it was your intervention that ended up saving him. Oh, that's a relief. So how is the old doctor these days? Well, the years have taken their toll. A fact that's more noticeable lately. Were you a patient of my father's? No, I'm not exactly. Huh? What's going on here? He injured? He collapsed after having another attack. Seems he ran out of the meds you prescribed. That gentleman over there made me aware of the situation, so we were able to prevent a disaster. Ah, oh, I see. Thank you. And I'm sure he'd like to personally extend his thanks when he comes to. No, there's no need for that. I've got to head out soon. 
earlier, it sounded as though you knew my father personally. Well, I've heard a few things here and there, but it was quite a while ago. Hmm. Did you hear good things or bad things? All good things. <laughs> well, I suppose I should thank my lucky stars. So, you run this clinic with your daughter now? Hell no. This is my clinic. She's just a busybody who barges in whenever she feels like it. Taken after me was 100% her idea. True, I was never asked, but someone has to keep this place running. No matter what my dad says. I've told him he can retire anytime, but he absolutely refuses to settle down. What's wrong? Uh, no, no, my, my apologies. Uh, for a second, I mistook you for someone I knew way back when. Come to think of it, I heard he died a few years ago. He was a legend among the Yakuza here in Kamrocho. You don't say. Huh. <laughs> That voice. You even sound just like him. But I guess that's downright impossible. To think, I almost accused a friend of faking his own death all those years ago. Preposterous. Yeah. Unfortunately, you've got the wrong guy. I'm just passing through. Right. But I did haunt Kamurocho often in the past. I've heard a lot about you. In a town that only cares about money and women, there's a doctor who will help anybody in need. A man of great character. <laughs> well, that's pretty exaggerated. But it's nice to know that I'm a trusted physician. What's with this heavy atmosphere? You two can just tell me if I'm in the way. Oh, that's not it. I'm going on break. You guys, take your time. It must be reassuring to know you have a reliable successor. She grew up following in your footsteps. One look at her, and you can tell how strong-willed she is. Isn't that the truth? Once my daughter makes up her mind, it's her way or the highway. <laughs> but that's the right attitude to have when running a clinic like this. And patients seem to prefer being treated by her rather than an old grouch like me. <laughs> These days, all anyone ever seems to ask me is when I'm gonna retire. That's a shame. Damn straight! It only gets me even more fired up! At this rate, I'll be a doctor until my dying day. <laughs> Those ungrateful patients can't get rid of me yet. It was good to see you, Dakimoto. As someone who treats the injured and infirm, I can't exactly ask you to come again soon. But I'm here for you. Even if you're guarding secrets, you can trust me. Doctor-patient confidentiality, you know. Thanks. I might just take you up on that offer. Times have changed, and even the Tojo clan is long gone. But some things never change. <laughs> Looks like I'm still no match for you, Dakimoto.
Ah, that takes me back. Ah, that takes me back. Got some more fight in me. Let's keep going. No problem so far. Uh. Oh, 
treasure. Should I open it? It open. I'm good. Good to go. So it is, huh? Conida, so when you take that. Well, let's get started. You're going to regret this. I'm over here. Are you done with all the fun and games yet? To me! Now we're fucking. What's the hold up? Wanna play? Can we? Joe's no thing, Johnny. Follow my lead. Let's raise hell! Get serious. Follow your lead. Something wrong. No begging for the end. Did you really think you'd win? Learning more every day. That's nostalgic. This brings back memories.
いらっしゃいませ。What I wanted, thank you. Thanks. Racing. Mm. <laughs> Neat. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. I'll race you to the Pocket Circuit Stadium. Really? Pocket Circuit Stadium. Kamurocho actually has one again. Ah, Pocket Circuit. Those little radio-controlled race cars. It's a surprisingly deep hobby, competing against others on elaborate racetracks. There was a time I was the fastest pocket circuit racer in Kamurocho, taking on all comers. I got to know the kids who frequented the place through racing and modding our cars together. And <laughs> I even formed a lasting friendship with a pocket circuit fighter that managed our location. Last time I saw him was back in Onomichi. Hope he's doing all right. Stop being so annoying. Let me play how I want, fighter. Hmm? But that customization you put together won't work, Kojiro-kun. Try these tires instead. They'll give you more friction on turns. Come on. Use them just once, buddy. For me? Knock it off. The tires I have are the best. They're purple. Purple's cool, but the color doesn't make it race better. Don't you want to stay on the track? No, shut up already! Fighter, you suck! Let's go find something to do at the park. Yeah, this is dumb, Yasukun. Mm. Aw, just give it a little more time. It's fun! Not again. Jeez, I can't get these kids to listen. Oh well, better clean up. Whoa! Ooh! Sorry about that. Huh. A golem tiger. Oh? You. uh. you recognize it? Hmm. I used to race here, actually. Back with the first pocket circuit fighter. Whoa! So, my name's Muranaka. I'm a new fighter, employed by the Pocket Circuit Company themselves. I'm... Well, as far as Pocket Circuit goes, I'm Kazuma. Kazuma-kun, huh? Pleasure to meet you. So if you knew this branch's first fighter, you must go back a while. I started in the bubble era. Must have been 30 years ago now. Whoa, that would have been the first boom period. Oh, amazing. I'd have loved to have been there to see it. Is it true how popular it was back then? I'd say so. From what I recall, it really swept the country for a time. Then one day, the Kamurocho Stadium was gone. I'm surprised to see it come back now. Ah, oh, yeah, it, it did die down for a while, but recently there's been a surge of interest. The market's swelling again. On top of that, we have a new company president. He's a pocket circuit fanatic, apparently. I'm super into it. 
He came up with a bunch of innovative new mixed media strategies to get younger school kids back into RC racing. Hmm, that sounds effective. So, what made you want to be a pocket circuit fighter? Everything else aside? The cars. Pocket circuit cars fascinate me. Pocket circuit's popularity was waning by the time I got into it, but I didn't care. I'd spend every afternoon customizing my rig. All of my meager allowance went toward building the best machine I could. I didn't have friends at school, but eventually, I met people through Pocket Circuit. It was like finding my place in the world. Oh, it was so much fun in those days. I get it. That made you want to become a fighter. Yup. It was the fighter at my local branch who approached me when he saw that I would race alone. He helped bring me together with the other kids. I finally made friends. All thanks to him. That's the person I want to be. Someone who can help cheer kids up when they're going through hard times. That's a true pocket circuit fighter. I think that's the right idea. You're a good fit. Except... This job's a lot harder than I thought it'd be. When it comes to pocket circuit tech, nobody knows more than me. And I just... want to pass on that knowledge. Teach kids the best customizations. Support their curiosity. But when I try... Oh, I can't get through to them. The kids all seem to hate me. Maybe I'm just not cut out to be a fighter. Now that I'm 30, it might be time to move back home. Are you laughing at me? <laughs> no. It's just that back in my day, the fighter here was in a very similar position. He and I raced together a lot. I have nothing but good memories of him. It's been a long time, but I still consider him a close friend. You really had that kind of bond? Hmm. He was a great spokesperson for the hobby and good with kids. Still, he had his share of troubles. The company never saw him as more than a disposable part-timer. When he had 30, he had a hard time staying with it. Wow. What did he do? He decided to remain a fighter. He loved Pocket Circuit. The kids loved him. In the end, he couldn't turn away from that love. The kids loved him, huh? <sighs> Makes me jealous. If I only had a better relationship with them, I wouldn't be so conflicted. Let me ask, what do you imagine the kids there want from you? Me? Well, I'm the pocket circuit fighter. They want me to teach them the best way to race, don't they? That's an important part of it. The fighter should be someone you can consult on builds. However, do you really think that's what children are looking for? Huh? You told me about the fighter who helped you as a kid, but you didn't mention his technical expertise. Did you decide to become a fighter because he made you a faster car? Did you idolize him because he taught you which tire set takes sharp turns better? Of course not. He meant the world to me because... When I had nobody... He rescued me from my loneliness. I think you understand now. What is it the children want from their fighter? You know the answer, don't you? Kazuma-kun... You're right. This whole time, I've been mistaken. Pocket Circuit might be a technical hobby, but that's not its heart. It can't be only about winning and losing. First and foremost, it's about having fun with your fellow racers. I can't believe I looked past something so obvious. Oh, no wonder the kids hate me. It's not too late, you know. Right. I'm gonna find those kids. This time, I won't talk about wheels. I'll talk about feels. Pocket Circuit runs on love. Good. I'm sure they'll take to that lesson. Oh, thanks so much, Kazuma-kun. Fighter away!
This brings back memories. いらっしゃいませ。Should I open it? Nice. いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございます。
いらっしゃいませありがとうございました Yeah, you picked the wrong opponent. Hell yeah. Sweet. Oh. 